Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel. So today, well this week, I've decided to challenge myself to giving away seven items for seven days. So I'm either gonna give them away to Goodwill, donate, charities, whatever, whoever can use it because I'm not using it. Um, basically, I'm starting in the closet because I figured that would be a pretty easy place to start. I know there's tons of things in here that I haven't worn in a really long time, which is a clear indication that I don't need it. And I love decluttering, so this is actually a therapeutic process for me. Um, getting rid of things makes me feel lighter, makes me feel good, makes me feel organized. So that is what I'm doing. Today is day one. And um, yeah, so stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna create a pile that I wanna keep and then a pile that I'm gonna give away. Tons of t-shirts and just shorts and stuff I like to lounge in, but nobody needs this many things to lounge in. Clutter and messiness stresses me out. Can anyone relate? And that is exactly why I find TV shows like Hoarders torturous to watch, but I also love to see how it all ends when everything has been cleaned and cleared out. It's satisfying in a way. I don't know. I was excited to take on this personal challenge and honestly, it wasn't that challenging at all. Day one was a breeze. I neatly folded and separated all of the clothes into piles. A pile for t-shirts, a pile for workout clothes, a pile for two-piece sets, a pile for this, a pile for that, and I put everything I didn't want to keep in a pile to the side. Day one, done. Hey smileys, it's day two of my daily declutter. I'm getting rid of at least seven items for seven days. Yesterday, I got rid of a bunch of stuff out of my closet. I know I can get rid of at least seven items from the kitchen. So, here's what I, here's what I was able to get rid of. So here's the basket of clothes that I got rid of out of my closet yesterday, well over seven items. We did good. And today's day two, so let's attack the kitchen. On day two, I went through the kitchen cabinets and got rid of old pots, pans, and a few cups. I keep things pretty organized and clutter-free anyway, but that doesn't mean that I don't have more than what I actually need. Sometimes clutter indicates an overabundance of possessions that create crowded, and disorderly living spaces. Ain't nobody got time for that. My husband and I have been in this house for nearly five years now. Wow, five years. It's really easy to accumulate stuff over time without realizing it. Some people also form an overattachment to personal items and never want to get rid of them. I always ask myself, is this something that I'll actually use? Does it bring me any value? And if not, why keep it in my space? Day three, I cleaned out my upstairs hallway closet and parted with a rug, a few bed sheets and some pillowcases, some storage containers that I don't need and likely won't need, and a box it of It is day cards. four of my daily declutter. I have to get rid of at least seven things for seven days. So I've basically been going, been going through every closet, every room in the house and getting rid of things that I don't need, that no longer serve me, that I haven't used in the last six months to a year or that I will not use in the next six months to a year. Because if that's the case, then you probably don't need it. Let's do this. Tidying up can help you distress and gain a sense of control over your environment. Decluttering, letting go of unnecessary possessions and organizing the environment around you relieves stress and improves your overall sense of well-being. That's worth it for me. I also understand that the amount of clutter that is acceptable for each person is subjective. Some clutter might perturb some people and be completely fine for others, which is okay. <sighs> hey smileys, day five out of seven. Two more days to go. Let's do this. 
For day five, I'm still working on the guest bedroom, which has become less of a bedroom and more of a place to put more stuff. I had a project in mind for those picture frames, but I've decided on something else so they can go. An old mirror, a few more random things, and some books. Although I absolutely love my books dearly and don't believe you can ever have too many, I actually had duplicate copies of some titles and others that I probably wouldn't read. On day six, I parted with more books and this little lap desk. I bought it when I was in school for working late in the bed, but I actually only used it a couple times before tucking it away and never using it again. Hey smileys, someone is excited about day seven and she got her hair did. On the last day, I went through the downstairs hallway closet, gave away a coat, a few sweaters, and organized a few things. So after it was all said and done, here is everything I got rid of. The final count far exceeded the 49 items I aimed for initially, but I know me, so I knew that would happen. I'm actually so glad I did this. Hopefully some of these well-loved items will find a home with someone else who will love them just as much and also put them to use. Paring down and getting organized helps me focus more clearly, it promotes productivity, and improves my mood. It also helps to do a little each day. So help yourself and help someone else while you're at it. Is anyone else in a season of decluttering and getting rid of things that no longer serve you? Leave a comment below about your process. Thanks for watching Smiley's. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you like good vibes. Mm -hmm.